Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I use my new Dyson Airwrap. I was lucky enough to get this for Christmas this year and I've spent the last little bit testing it out, trying different ways to make my hair stay because if you have an Airwrap, you might know, or if you've heard anything about the Airwrap, you might know that sometimes getting the curls to stay is a little bit of a tricky one, but I feel like I have mastered that and I will talk you through how I do it, why I do it, which way I do it, and so forth in the next segment of this video. So if you have the air wrap and you are struggling to keep your curls, maybe try doing it this way. It's a little bit more effort, but I feel like it gives me the smoothest results. I feel like it gets my curls to hold and just allows me to then wear my hair like this for a longer length of time. So you're gonna see me start to spray down my hair with this heat protectant and then I just brush my hair through with my mounted brush and throw some mousse into my hair. I'm lathering it up pretty heftily just because I want to make sure that the curl holds as much as possible. Now I'm just using the smallest air wrap attachments and I like to do one side of my head first and then switch to the other attachment and do the other side of my head. If you don't have an air wrap, you might not know the direction of the air flows dependent on the type of attachment that you have attached to the air wrap. So you might find that you can only do one side of your head with a certain air wrap attachment. So as I don't like to switch constantly, I just try to do one side of my head and I really have to ensure that I get a certain amount of tension on my hair at the same time of blow drying it because that is going to be what smooths out any type of frizziness that I may have when using the air wrap. This will primarily be for people that have curly hair. If you have straight hair, you probably won't have to put very much tension on your hair at all. You'll also see me brushing through the curls halfway through. I do this because I want to make sure that I am brushing through any type of knots or kinks because again, as my hair is curly, if I don't brush through that, I'm just blow drying a kink into my hair, which isn't nice. And I also find that the air wrap holds better on my hair when I do it from soaking wet. So um, this prevents me from getting any extra kinks or texture in my hair. I'm noticing just at the front here that it's a bit frizzy, so I'm just going over that front bit and yeah, all done. Easy peasy. A little bit of hairspray, a little bit of hair oil, and then I'm just going to work this through my hair to kind of get all the curls to soften a bit, and that's it. Anyways, my friends, that is it. I definitely feel the first day that I use the air wrap, my hair is quite big. I'm not used to it being this big, but as someone with very fine hair, I definitely want my hair bigger so it lasts longer. As I live in England, it definitely doesn't stay this big that long. I think one of the things that I have noticed in a lot of Facebook groups is, is that depending on where you live, if it's very humid, your hair will drop flat quite fast. And even there is a difference between I just did my hair today and it is so dry and cold outside. However, if this was just a couple of days ago when it was raining nonstop, I probably wouldn't have got as smooth of a result because my hair is naturally curly. We probably would see that I would get some frizz around here. And that's when I would just whip out one of my straighteners and then just smooth down those areas. I'm actually on a journey to try and grow my hair as long as possible. And I like that the air wrap, even though it might not last as long as one of my t3 like curling irons i like that it's not putting as much heat on my hair as those devices do if you don't have the air wrap i'm not too sure which set this one is it doesn't have like the round brush attachments but it comes with these two wider barrels it comes with a blow dryer i have the dyson supersonic so to be honest this is a bit redundant for me and then I've got the two um, smaller barrels when I do the bigger barrels it gives me more of a blowout effect but then obviously that drops a lot faster than using the smaller skinnier barrels so I tend to use the smaller skinnier barrels have a tighter curl a more voluminous curl and then wait for that to fall out the this set also comes with this brush 
This is another thing that I would have talked to you guys through, but I've heard lots of people say, you know, they use their Dyson on 90% dry hair. But as a hairstylist, from what I know is that the molecules of your hair strand, they can be manipulated when either you're using a chemical or you're using water. And that's why when you get a perm done, you can't get your hair wet for another 24 hours after. So when I heard that people were waiting for their hair to be 90% dry, I was like, surely that's not really gonna hold that well. So the first day I used the air wrap, I did it from 90% dry and it fell out almost instantly. And now I do it from wet and it lasts way longer. The other thing that I'm gonna be maybe switching around is I might move to using a gel as opposed to a mousse because again, when I was in hair school and we would do finger waves or set a roller set, we would use gel. We wouldn't use mousse so I have a feeling that when I start using gel it will last even longer if you are someone with naturally curly hair like me you might benefit from using the Dyson set that comes with the round brush however my hair isn't super coarse although it is curly I th felt that I could use just these barrels and then if there is any frizzy bits around the front of my hair I can then use that however I do think I will refrain from using this if there is a lot of rain on the forecast because truthfully I'm just putting heat on my hair for no reason when I know my hair is gonna go curly or frizzy when there's rain and moisture in the air anyways my friends I hope you enjoyed this video I hope if you're struggling with the Dyson that this gave you a little bit of insight and especially if you have fine curly hair like me hopefully we can enjoy some thick looking hair for 2021 anyways thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet this is gonna be one of your last chances to do so you can just press that button right there and you'll be subscribed to this little channel Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.